So we had one last one that we wanted to go over um, regarding pick lines and midlines, which is, I know, hot topic of debate all the time. So please fill us in. Absolutely. So we reviewed a paper that was by Lakshmi Swaminathan and colleagues in the January 2022 issue of JAMA Internal Medicine. And this paper basically asked the question, are midlines better than PICs, peripherally inserted central catheters? And the way that this study was carried out was the authors did a retrospective cohort study that compared patients who had midline catheters placed against patients who had PIC lines placed for the specific indications of difficult venous access or among people who needed IV antibiotics for up to 30 days after discharge. And the primary outcome in this study was major complications within 30 days. And this was a composite of symptomatic upper extremity DVT or PE, uh, bloodstream infection, or catheter occlusion. And the top line findings in this study were that among patients with those indications, uh, PIC lines were associated with twice the odds of major complications uh, as midlines. And in uh, looking at the specific outcomes, um, the odds of bloodstream infection were about four times higher with PIC lines. The odds of occlusion were about uh, two times higher with PIC lines compared with midlines. There wasn't a compelling difference uh, in DVTs because the number of events uh, in both groups was overall similar. But in terms of that composite outcome by day three, uh, it looks like uh, much higher odds in patients who got PIC lines. Um, so when they did like any of the adjustments, was it based on kind of the fact that like midlines tend to be in there for a shorter time. So therefore would have like less of these complications or like adjust for that. So that we're really going off of the length of the catheter itself. Yeah, this is a really important question. And um, the authors accounted for that difference in catheter lifetime in their analysis. Um, the main analysis um, just used a count of outcomes, um, which is kind of indicated by the fact that they used an odds ratio. But um, one of the secondary outcomes was doing the primary analysis, but accounting for the difference in catheter days. And so that's where we had something that I addressed in the talk, um, which I'm not going to spend too much time on here. You can read the paper and uh, you know, tweet at us if um, anyone disagrees, but there was a secondary outcome in this study that suggested that PIC lines were associated with fewer DVTs than midlines. But that was, I think, fully explained by the fact that PIC lines stayed in so much longer. What the authors didn't report was the um, number of uh, DVTs per uh, patient or per catheter. Mm -hmm. Um, that would have been a useful way to disentangle that. They did report outcomes in terms of uh, catheter days, um, and there was not a dramatic difference uh, in any of the, um, or in, in the outcome of DVTs when uh, standardized catheter days. And then um, the only other thing I had seen when I looked at this paper too is, um, it may not be like necessarily relevant, I just didn't know why. There was like a big um, like uh, racial difference between who got like pick lines and who got mid lines. Yeah. No, I, I don't have a good explanation for that, apart from to say that it, you, it does highlight one of the sort of critical limitations of retrospective cohort studies, which is when you're not randomizing patients to the two comparisons, um, you run the risk of an imbalance of both measured and unmeasured confounders. So, you know, it's not unusual to see differences in things totally unrelated to the um, exposure of interest, in this case, things like race and ethnicity, and asking the question, could any of those differences actually account for the outcomes that we observe? That's a really important learning point when you're um, thinking about uh, evaluating retrospective cohort studies. I don't have a good answer for why that would have been the case here, but you bring up an important point that I, I want learners, uh, listeners to, to think about. Okay. 